Good morning, YouTube. Most of you guys know that I travel on the tennis tour for about 30 weeks out of the year. And with that, I am creating a lot of content around these tournaments. And in most of my content, I think in general, I am romanticizing every place that I go today. And something that I wanna start doing on my channel more is creating more realistic day in my life videos. I think at these tournaments, especially at Wimbledon, probably most at Wimbledon, the thing that is expected is to just show how grand and beautiful and how kind of over the top and how just everything is so photographable on site. But this week I wanted to do something a little bit different. So welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna be doing a realistic day in my life at Wimbledon. I had a really big drop for my brand at this tournament. We launched our first ready to wear collection, which was so fun and I think sort of unexpected for my brand. And then the day after wearing, my own brand, I wore Self Portrait and Jimmy Choo. I've been using this foundation a lot on my channel recently, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. So in very Wimbledon fashion, there was a rain delay this morning. Tommy was actually supposed to play first on, and it's about noon right now, and he has not gone on yet because of the rain. So this happens a lot at this tournament. It's very rainy here this time of year, and they have to cover the courts or else they will get ruined if they play on the wet courts. Today I'm opting for a more natural makeup look. I think when it's sort of overcast, um, makeup is just more visible on the skin. So I'm gonna try to keep it pretty light. Next, I'm gonna go in with my other favorite palette. You guys have definitely seen me use this before. So while I am getting ready to go to the tournament right now, I'm not actually expecting the matches to start anytime soon. I'm just trying to get ready and get prepared for when they do. One of the things about dating a tennis player that a lot of people might not know is that there is a lot of waiting around. You never know how long the match before is going to go. You never know what sort of delay there might be. So there is a lot of waiting around, which is not the end of the world by any means. Because I decided that I wasn't going to vlog the whole week this week. One, because of the amount of work that I had at this tournament this year. Every single day so far, I've had a lot of content and press and just stuff to do while also having my family here and some friends. I still felt sort of, maybe not guilty, but I felt like I'm obviously in such a routine um, vlogging and showing you guys, especially these tournaments. It's been a huge difference not vlogging this week I do really love to vlog these tournaments, but I do feel like sometimes trying to do Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, press, also support Tommy, also cook breakfast and dinner for him and the team, I end up feeling a little bit spread thin. Like I love making these into work trips as well, but I think it's also really important for me to take care of myself and try to really enjoy them and be as present as possible. Guys, how beautiful is this palette from Natasha Denona? What's it called? called the golden palette this is what i've been using non-stop the shade freckle by road beauty has been my ultimate favorite i feel like i do a strong job on my instagram of things being very aesthetic i feel like i did accomplish the goal of romanticizing wimbledon on my instagram i feel like because i did that it's important for me and it's also just like just fun for me for you guys to see a different perspective of the tournament that's a little bit more realistic which is a little less focused on aesthetics and a little bit more of what a lot of the days on the tour and what actually this tournament because of the rain really look like okay just gonna spray my face i also feel like i don't really talk about or i haven't talked about what's actually hard for me um, being on tour and what I struggle with. So one of the first things that comes to my mind when I think about what's hard for me being on the tennis tour for 30 weeks out of the year is the fact that I really, really love my life at home. I think that's also contributed to just my confidence as a woman and as a person and especially a person on the internet. I have an amazing, amazing home life that I built for myself. So I have a house and a car and everything that I could possibly need that I've provided for myself, not my parents, not anyone else, but myself, not Tommy. So I have just like a really solid home foundation. 
I've maybe only made an Instagram story about this, but a year ago I donated money to a horse farm that was actually an old dairy farm. I basically gave them their money to completely start their operation. They buy their horses, they do horse therapy, they do trail rides. So I could not only use their horses, love on their horses, come and ride with my friends, but equine therapy is something that I'm very passionate about. For me, it really changed my life reconnecting with horses. Honestly, more than therapy ever did for me in my whole life. Just reconnecting with horses was the best thing that happened to me in my mid-20s, like by far. So with being involved in this organization, in this barn, owning and riding my own horses, just having a really amazing home life, it's really, really hard for me to leave home and be away from home. It's also hard for a lot of people because a lot of these women on tour can't actually hold jobs because it's so hard to find a job where you can travel internationally in different time zones, hold a normal job even if it's remote. So most females on tour actually, it's really hard to work. And luckily I had a successful career where I was fully supporting myself before I met Tommy. So while I could have saved my money and not spent it on having a home life, it was something that was really, really important to me because it was something that I didn't always have in my previous relationships. For me, fully depending on a man before I'm married in my early to mid 20s financially for everything and for a house and for stability was just not gonna be enough for me to be a confident person. I realized a little bit before I met Tommy, honestly like around the time that I met Tommy that I really wanted to give myself a dream life. That I was one, really capable of giving myself everything that I could have ever wanted. I had an amazing community, I had an amazing platform, I had just begun this brand that turned into this just like whirlwind of just like a very tight knit community of people. I realized that if I really started to put effort into every single thing I did, every single piece of content that I put out, I realized I could really turn this into a business. And then through that, I could just literally have my dream life. And it just didn't depend on anyone. So anyways, I feel like I really did that. I really feel like I did build my dream life where I'm not dependent on anyone. But then I sort of did it and I've done it while I've been on tour and I do get really homesick and I do really miss being in the kitchen and I really miss cooking and I miss my horses. And honestly, I'm so grateful to travel as much as I do, but I don't really even love traveling all that much. I've never really been like a traveling sort of girl. I learned how to travel on the tour and I've learned how to make myself happy on the tour. Also, I think it's really important to note that most of the tournaments do not look like Wimbledon throughout the year. Most of the tournaments are in Europe. A lot of the tournaments do not spend the money that Wimbledon has to make it as much of a amazing fan and, and guest experience. But again, I am here to support Tommy. I'm not even here to make content. I make content on the road so I can continue to work on the road. Because also I think, especially on YouTube, this sort of traveling that I'm doing is so good for YouTube. I actually encouraged pretty much every single WAG that I met on the tennis tour when I first met them when I came on tour to start YouTube because it's so good for travel series. It's so good for showing different cultures, different foods, giving tours, just in-depth stuff that you just can't get in short format content. But so while I do make content while I'm on the road, I'm literally only here because of Tommy. The content is just to keep me working, keep me busy, keep building my brand, and connect with you guys on the road. If I didn't have vlogging, and if I didn't have my content while I'm on the road, I would have to find some other source of work because I think I would be just a little bit like lost. Um, the tour is quite lonely. You guys see me hang out all the time with other wives and girlfriends, but still even with that, it's really hard for everyone to line up their schedules. You know, there are matches on different days, there are delays. If one of our boyfriends lose, we just go right home. We're not sticking around um, unless our boyfriends are still actively playing in the tournaments. Every week it's really different, no matter how good you are, you could go out first round or you, or you can make it deep into the tournament, you just like really never know. I think there's also something sort of weird about being somewhere not really for yourself. Like we're all just really here for a purpose, which is to support our boyfriends. So obviously that will always come first. Another thing that I found hard on the road is staying active, which is a super important part of my life. You guys know I'm not a big gym girl. I do do at-home workouts. I don't really film when I go to the gym, if you guys haven't noticed, but I just don't like going to gyms in hotels. So staying active, like naturally through hobbies, has been very difficult on the road. My vlogs have been a really great source 
of entertainment for me and they've also definitely gotten me out of the house and gotten me out and about when I feel like I just want to lay in bed all day but with that being said you guys probably know by now my idea of like staying active isn't only just like walking or going to museums like I like hiking or going out on the boat or going to the beach or going horseback riding or going to a farmer's market or like strawberry picking I honestly just really like being in nature and that is a struggle on the tennis tour okay guys my makeup is done I think those are just a few of the things that I can think about off the top of my head also a super important part of being on the tennis tour is not complaining we can always come up with a million things in ways that things are inconvenient or things you wish were different so something that Tommy and I are both really good at is that we just try to keep complaints to ourselves we're really not like negative people whereas if I only focus on good I feel like I'm constantly getting blessings but that being said I do like want to share more with you guys about like the things that I do struggle with in this like sort of unique but amazing life that I'm living okay this is what I'm wearing today to the match and then I'm bringing this big rain jacket from New Balance I'm just gonna wear this over my outfit today I have to say guys dressing like this is so much more me I'm so much more comfortable than when I really really dress up but I do like dressing up for like 30 minutes but I don't like dressing up and then sitting in the dress the whole match but yeah anyways I'm gonna head to the site now it looks like the rain has cleared up I hope fingers crossed so I'll bring you guys with me this is my favorite outfit I've worn so far <laughs> So Why do I dress up for matches again? Every time I dress like this, I'm like. You don't have to dress up every time. Can you like change up some time and wear something yeah. casual? All right, let's go. Hey. 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 What's that? What are you drinking? Joe. Since this is a realistic vlog, <laughs> Tommy is currently entering. <laughs> the court to play and we are not there yet on our way does that make you upset dad what does that upset you no uh oh that makes me no, upset <laughs> show you guys is right when I get home from a match I either feel really dirty because I was sweating all day because we're in the Sun and outside all day so I'm either like feeling really disgusting and I have to shower immediately also the makeup that I wear like melts off my face during the matches it's really cute so I either need to shower right away or today I feel like honestly totally fine like I need a shower at the end of the day but I don't need to shower right now I will just rot in bed and currently I'm just getting some emails done. Nothing exciting. Sometimes I do actually write when I get back. I try to like edit my vlog. Something I also don't really talk about much is that in order to vlog every single Sunday, like I upload every Sunday. I've uploaded every Sunday pretty much. And if I didn't upload it on Sunday, it was like Monday morning for over a year and a half. And the way that I've been able to do that, you have to try to edit the content the day that you film it. I also feel like the editing is much better if I'm editing the day as it ends. The vlogs that I wait until Saturday night to edit the entire week are absolute hell because it takes about five to six hours to upload that much content. I am taking so much content throughout the week just to like boil it down to like 15 to 20 to 30 minutes. But I've learned now just over time that I really cannot do that to myself. So I'll always try to edit every day as it goes so it's just editing over time not all at once so anyways yeah i'm usually doing like a lot of computer stuff when i get back i definitely love to rot in bed after being on site all day and i'm a very introverted extrovert is that called an ambivert 
social battery is feeling low as of right now. It's coming oh, again. Oh, oh, oh my God. Finish treatment. Wait, you look so let red. Go, wait, let me get pants, pants off. Cause my face was in the hole, you know? Tommy just got treatment. Wait, I want you to guess. I haven't told Tommy what this vlog is. So you know I haven't been vlogging all week, right? Yeah. Yeah. That shirt is so cute that I got you. Uh-huh. You love it? Yeah, and? Okay, so I um, didn't vlog all week. I decided to do a vlog, and it's just a day in my life. Oh, well, I kind of gave it away. But a day in my life at one point. No, but it's like more than that. Day in the life. What's like a descriptive word? A. A crazy day in the life. No, it wasn't crazy. Normal. Oh, that's a parrot. There's literally two parrots outside right now. Where? Why are there par three parrots? Why are there parrots in Like London? colorful ones? Yeah, like bright green. It's a good omen. Birds are good omens. I don't, I don't like birds uh, at all. Only when I'm fishing. Just tell me. Tell me. Like, I can't take it any longer. I need to know. I just need to know. Come on. Your head that big? I thought you had a small head. You have a small head. You have a small head. Do you know? I feel like I'm gonna break it. You, how many shirts do you have it on right now? Four? Five. Five? Okay. We can definitely cut them off. I'm just gonna, I, 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 I'm gonna like talk to like three or four other companies and just see what the best number we can get first. Okay, cause I was thinking like, then uh, <laughs> He's getting the clawed. Double claw. Double claw. Well, I'm so I can sell it to TMZ. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a cut. All right, dude. Show me if Dairy Boy wants to get in the mix. I do. But what's the price? Price went up. Oh, we gotta see. We're, we we we're, we're throwing it out tonight, so. How do I? I need to just like get patches made, I guess. We, we, no, we, listen, if you want to get in, we screen print it, and make it look real professional. All right, let me know. It could be pretty Central iconic. To the city. Okay. How much for the next match? Second week is. Liar. Well, how much? Price went up. Price went up. Uh, we, uh, uh, we'll give you the right to match once we get it. Okay, cool. This hat looks really good on you. I know, I'm so sexy. Okay, wait. A rainy day in the life. No. A realistic day in my life. A realistic? Yeah, like just the realness of the tennis store. Oh. Nice. So, so what are you just showing them? The, 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 the non- grand. Glamorous side of things. Yeah, less of a production, less like B-roll. I didn't wear like a fancy outfit. I also talked to them a little bit about like the things that I struggle with on tour, like a little bit. I miss the Dusky every day, every single day. The Dusky is Tommy's new boat in Florida. I don't think I've told the vlog that you've gotten a boat. Oh, I miss it every day. I think about it during all my matches. It's all I think about, really. Do you feel like? I dream um, about it. Yeah. I dream about my boat. And it's not even, it's nothing special, yeah. but it's, it's my baby. Yeah. I think that oftentimes, because of maybe social media or because people just tune in for your guys' matches, they don't think about how long and hard the season is for you guys. Oh, it's a of tough a season. career. Yeah. Tough career. But I think I also contribute to making it seem really, like, glamorized. So I don't always cover the parts of it that... Well, that's what they want to see. Y'all want to see the pretty shit, right? I think they want to see both. Us just grinding for tickets, not being, not knowing what gate to go to, not being able to get cars when we want them. Tell them about that stuff. That's what you need to tell Come them. Come here, you tell them. So many players and so many teams. And then they're like a very inclusive tour. So we have like a lot of doubles players, which like, I mean. It's a different sector of the sport. And there's just so many players. So like if everyone had them, a girlfriend, team, a family. Yeah. Then it's, it's just, a lot of cars. And, and you give like cars to everybody, you give food to everybody, then it's like, uh, it's a failing business. So they have to, you know, they but it does make, make cuts it difficult. They need to make cuts. But it does make it difficult for the families. For sure. I don't get how these people travel with like whole, like Doves players will travel with like whole ass families. Families and like a bunch yeah. of kids. and. Also, another thing that I think some of you guys might know, but they pay for everything so they pay for their flights they pay for ubers travel food um they obviously have sponsors but 
Tommy's overhead a year is absurd. Like the overhead that you have to pay to just like live on tour is like crazy. Huh? Spend money, make money. For sure. I'm just saying like it's very expensive to be a tennis player and it's very hard for people that aren't really highly ranked. Like the sport is hard. It's hard if you're, it's hard in general. But like- Yeah, yeah there's no guaranteed income. You lose, you don't make money. You get injured, you don't make money. Yeah. It's a grind. It's a grind, but it's the greatest sport. Do you think so? Do you think so? I mean, I chose it. I just didn't know if you think so. I do think it's the greatest sport. You all see all those parrots? Look at those things. Yeah. Why are there parrots in London? Tell me if this is normal. Yo, how steady of a hand do I have? I'm like Mark Lorenz. It's incredible. Okay guys, anyways, I'm gonna go get dinner with my parents. My dad is... I'm gonna get bananas. You are? I'm gonna get bananas. You're going out? Bananas. You're going out? Bananas. I'm gonna get bananas. No, I'm gonna get... <laughs> you guys just saw what he just did. Do it again. <laughs> My dad's sadly leaving. He has to go back to work in the States. So I'm going to go to dinner with them. And then I'm going to come home and shower. Edit this vlog. And then we have an off day tomorrow, and then Tommy is in to the fourth round, which is really, really exciting. He's going to be playing on Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna go literally throw on a big sweater and head to dinner. Tommy and I went to our first tennis match together today, too. I forgot to mention that. Oh! All right. Go in. Guys, all right, guys. That's how you get views. Speak. Super crazy up in the camera like this. Hi, for Paige. Mm -hmm.